Hey, Ron McGill here at Zoo Miami for another edition of Zoo Academy. Today, we're talking about the Grevy's zebra. There are three species of zebra. There's the plain zebra, which is the more common one. There's the mountain zebra, and there's the Grevy zebra. The Grevy zebra is the largest of all the species, and a good way to distinguish the Grevy's from all the other ones is, first of all, they have very, very thin stripes, and most importantly, they have no stripes in their belly. Their belly is white. They also have very large ears, like a mule's ear. Same thing with their head. It's a relatively large head, as opposed to the plain zebra, which tends to have more like a horse's head. Also, the Grevy zebra, as opposed to the plain zebra, is endangered, whereas the plain zebra is fairly common. Also, Grevy zebras are found up in northern Kenya and Ethiopia, very dry, arid climates. These are basically herbivores. They feed on grasses, very dry grasses. Now, the stripes of a zebra are like the fingerprints on a human hand. Each one of them is different. Now, a lot of people ask, are zebras white with black stripes, or are they black with white stripes? In fact, zebras are black animals with white stripes. Their skin is black. Now, the zebras make a variety of, of noises. They are an equid, which means they're related to horses, and a different family within the same group as horses. Um, and they make the same sounds that a lot of horses do. You've heard the It's like a greeting. But they also make sounds like donkeys and mules, more like So they make a lot of those sounds, too. Now, Grevy zebras, as opposed to the plain zebras, which are found in large herds. People have probably seen them in the Great Migration in Tanzania and Kenya, where you see hundreds of them together. Grevy zebras tend to be more uh, isolated Isolated. Males are usually by themselves, and there might be small groups of mares with their foals walking around. But they're much smaller groups, so it's different than the large plain zebra. And the mountain zebras are smaller, uh, less concentrated also, but they have broader stripes. Now, people ask, what purpose does a stripe serve on a zebra? Basically, those stripes help blend the zebra in when it's together with other zebras. So when it's running away and it's in the herd with other zebras, a predator like a lion gets confused because understand now a lion only sees in black and white so it gets confused with all those lines and stripes another thing we found out is that those stripes actually help deflect biting flies because the stripes seem to help uh, confuse the eyes of insects so it helps them not get bitten as much by flies and last but not least it helps keep them cool because the white and the black helps change the temperature of the air the way it reflects the air and it helps keep the animals cool in that very hot climate zebras have a pregnancy of close to a year uh, they have a foal probably one every once every two years that foal is up and running within 20 30 minutes after it's born things that feed on things like the zebras are things like leopards and lions and hyenas will also do it as well as wild dogs so the zebras here at Zoo Miami are all animals that have been born at the zoo. Uh, we don't take any animals out of the wild. These are all animals that are born here naturally at the zoo. Uh, and we exchange with other zoos to keep a good, healthy, captive population. So hopefully on your next visit to Zoo Miami, you'll be able to see these guys, the Grevy Zebra. Hey, I'm Ron McGill here in my office at Zoo Miami. I hope you're enjoying Zoo Academy. And listen, if you've got any questions regarding any of the things you see on any of the segments, please email them to education at zoomiami.org. And hopefully I can get to some of them in future segments and give you some good answers. We'll see you around.